The Final Fantasy Apex collab is here and the Buster Sword that drops in game gives us some movement we have never had in Apex. Here is all the movement tech that was found in the past 3 days. To put some confusion out of the way, there is a Buster Sword heirloom you can buy in the store, which I already ranted about on Twitter, which has no gameplay benefits, it's just a cosmetic. And then the separate Buster Sword weapon that is part of the limited game mode and enables crazy movement. That's the one I'm gonna talk about. Running with the sword out gives you full holster sprint speed. This is the first item of any kind that works like that. Any other grenade, survival item or weapon limits you to 260 when you have it out. So don't bother with holstering the sword. You can just always have it out and ready. It even has the same quick slide timing that holstered has. Then there are two forms of attack. The normal heavy dealing 60 damage and the light melee dealing 25. I compared them and the heavy attack consistently kills an enemy faster no matter the shield level. The heavy attack also has a far bigger hitbox. You can stand almost comically far away and aim around your target and still hit it. And the heavy attack will also one shot doors. Both the heavy and light attack can work by just holding down the button. No need to spam click it. Once the launch meter is filled up, indicated by this bar, the circle around your crosshair or this sound, your next melee will not be a light attack anymore, but will launch you into the air. If you point it at an enemy that's closer than 8 meters, you will get pulled towards them, damage them for 40 and launch them into the air with you. And you don't have to be accurate, as long as you somewhat point into their direction, you will launch them. Once in the air, you can then spam melee to juggle them with light attacks, which is absolutely hilarious and completely overpowered. And doing it with another sword user that blocks the damage lets you just slowly drift upwards into the sky. I love the sword, it's so stupid. When standing still, the launch will pull you pretty much straight upwards. So instead of only using it on enemies, think of it as a Walmart Horizon lift. But you can also carry momentum into the launch, so it launches you more forward, out of a grapple, jump pad or whatever you can think of. Once you are more than 5 meters above the ground, you can slam down, which will damage enemies and also one shot all doors around you. But you don't need to launch for that, so use it out of a fat grapple or do some stupid stuff with jump pads and zipline super jumps. I also figured out that you can corner cancel the slam to convert it into horizontal momentum. If you don't know about corner cancels yet, watch this guide from Jade Yggdrasil. You can also slant boost with the slam. This is when you fall onto a non-walkable surface that leads into a walkable one. And Horizon is definitely the best legend to use with the Buster Sword, since she can just slam down on various rock formations and redirect the speed of it. Then there is the block stance, that gets triggered by ADSing. This will limit your speed to walk speed. It will block 85% of damage from the front and 15% from the back. This is not like the Ronin sword block that will block damage 360 degrees around you. While in the block stance, you can attack to dash. Usually you can only dash straight forward. Your movement inputs have no influence. But people are already figuring out how to combine it with lurches, like Snowbird on Twitter to redirect the dash to the side. And the dash is really interesting for movement because you get to keep its momentum. Simply dashing down a hill and combining it with bunny hops already gives you insane potential out of just a single dash. And it recharges every 15 seconds, faster than any movement tactical. Then you can use its momentum for wall runs and can trim out of it. But just getting into the habit of jumping or sliding after a dash will already give you more value than not taking advantage of its momentum. You should also take advantage of that subscribe button for more movement videos. While having a sword equipped, your limit break meter will slowly charge. Doing damage with the sword will add additional charge. Once it's full, you can activate limit break. This will give you a 40% speed boost and you can stack other speed boosts on top of that. With Octane that results in 598 velocity that is twice as fast as regular sprint speed or a 100% speed boost. Limit Break also blocks even more damage, 95% from the front and 30% from the back. And your dashes and launch 
no longer have a cooldown, which opens up even more movement. You can now dash into a launch, which will propel you forward during the launch instead of straight up. And if you then wait out the slam prompt, you can dash mid-air again. The infinite dash leads to some other movement tech. You can infinitely climb with it. Just hold forward and keep dashing into a wall. Then you can of course just use it to dash around like a maniac. And the same as with heavy and light attacks, you can just hold attack to keep dashing. The two obvious exploits that were found so far are that swapping to another sword while limit break is active will keep the speed of the limit break without ever running out. If you have your sword out, you will be 40% faster, while you can still stack other speed boosts on top. This however makes it so you can't activate limit break with the better block and infinite dashes anymore. So you decide which you'd rather have. And then there are a bunch of weird flying, super fast dashing shenanigans. But so far they've only been able to be replicated in the fire range and seem rather inconsistent. Play around with dashing off high ground in limit break or after a super glide and jump pad and see what you can find.